All right, all right, all right. It is another cold day here in northern Michigan. It's Saturday. It's just snow won't stop. The frigid temperatures are just frigid. So I'm in my garage having a cup of coffee, going over some paperwork, and uh, decided to uh, make a quick video. So a couple days ago on our Facebook group, Northern Michigan Bikers, and if you haven't joined Northern Michigan Bikers Facebook group, please head that way. We have a page and a group. Join the group and the page if you'd like, but the group is more interactive. Um, we spotlight rides, events, and biker-friendly businesses up here in northern Michigan. But it's just not, it just doesn't die in northern Michigan. We, uh, we like to highlight the entire state and, and beyond. So we're a group of bikers, and destinations is, uh, is always good to know. So a few days ago on our group, I asked a question, um, what's your favorite Michigan ride? And I got uh, quite a few responses. Um, a lot of them were repeats, but uh, I made a list of some that were my favorites out of the other groups that, that people mentioned. And I got some honorable mentions as well. So um, no particular order at all. We're just going to dive right into this. So I made some notes here, and we're just going to uh, get on into it. I got to grab my, my glasses here. Getting older, you know. Yeah. Well, that isn't very nice. Marge, try to understand. As a jock, it is my duty to give nerds a hard time. So, no particular order at all. The first one that many people stated, probably the uh, the most uh, mentioned one, is M22. So, M22 is right in my backyard. It's one of my favorite rides on Earth. Um, it's nothing really special about it. It's a beautiful ride, but it's the most convenient for me. It's literally two miles away where it starts. So, um I love riding that. So M22 starts in, in Traverse City, Michigan, where I'm located at. And it runs along the shoreline um, of Lake Michigan following the West Bay. So in, in Traverse City here, we have two bays. We have East Bay and West Bay. And up the middle of the bay is Old Mission Peninsula. On the west side, M22 follows all the way up to uh, Leelanau Peninsula. and uh, So in Northport. So Northport's the, the pinky of, of the state. Um, it stops there, you turn around, you head back south, west, and you're heading right along the Lake Michigan shoreline. Uh, there's a bunch of cool little towns along the way. Glen Arbor's there, which is, is a beautiful spot. Um, you got Leland, you have Empire, you got Frankfurt, all the way down to Manistee. Um, there's a, a, a few really good lookouts. Um, Arcadia Bluffs is one of my favorites. It's just, it's you catch it on the right day, or really any day, but... There's, there's a magic hour to go out there, and you can see the sunset. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. So um, that's one of my, my favorite rides. It's one I do probably four, five, six, ten times a year. Um, it's, it's just a place for me to go and, and not think for a little bit. And you, know, you can do it in about three hours, two and a half, three hours. Um, if you stop along the way, you can make it into a whole day. So it's it's a beautiful ride. I highly recommend anybody who is in Michigan or traveling through Michigan to hit that up. So another really sweet road that I personally love is US2. So um, being so close to the uh, Upper Peninsula as we are, we're an hour and a half, two hours away. Um, plus, my daughter goes to school at NMU. We take this quite often, and it's uh, it's a beautiful spot. Once you get over the bridge. You hang a left, and you just follow Lake Michigan for a little bit, and then you shoot on up through the area. Um, it's it's a it's an awesome road, really cool when the uh, when the sand is is they make these awesome sand sculptures with the wind, and it, it's just beautiful. You got to watch out on certain areas of it though, because sand does cover the road, which can be quite the hazard for for us riders. But um, a lot of great spots to stop and take some pictures, and just a, it's a beautiful ride all the way through. Um, it's also doesn't just end in Michigan. The US2 goes all the way out to Everett, Washington. So you can take this road and travel across the United States, which is something on my bike it list I definitely want to be doing. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to happen in 2024. But nonetheless, it's something on the bike it list that I would love to do with my buddies and uh, just hit that open road and, and, and go see the Pacific Ocean, man. Go from Lake Michigan to the Pacific Ocean. Damn, that'd be awesome. The next one on the list, which we had a few uh, comments on, is M25, which is in the thumb area. So what M25 does, it follows the uh, the outline of the thumb, the arc of the thumb, really closely along the lake shore of uh, Lake Huron. 
It's a beautiful ride as well. I personally haven't ridden that on a motorcycle, but I've done it a million times in a vehicle. And I, um, that's something I'm going to be doing this year 1,000%. It's, uh, i got some buddies over there, and I'd love to uh, get over there and see them and, and hit that ride up. So this, uh, this ride in M25 runs from uh, Port Huron up through Bay City. And again, it just follows the, the curvature of the thumb area, and which is a, another beautiful spot. One of the one of the prettiest spots, I think, on the east coast of the state. Um, so definitely check that out as well. It's uh, a lot of cool little spots there to stop to. A couple of good uh, roadside bars and some restaurants and things like that. So another good one to check out if you're in the area. Another ride that was mentioned quite a bit was M119, which is the Tunnel of Trees. Um, that is another probably hour from me, Petoskey area. It starts. I... I see it. It's a beautiful road, um, especially in the fall color tours that come up here. But the problem with that during the fall time when it's at the, at the peak foliage is that you have every knucklehead in the state of Michigan and surrounding areas driving through there. And parts of that road are no wider than your driveway. So a uh, quick story. A couple of years ago, I took my wife through there in our car um, and we witnessed a man with a F-350 dually trying to fit down the road with a 42 footish fifth wheel and it was it was a cluster so um you got to watch out there it is a beautiful ride um i tend to stay away from that during the fall time just because of the mass amount of people it doesn't matter if it's a weekend or not it is bumper to bumper and it goes through a residential area so you got people's front yards that you just have jackasses pulling off into to take some pictures and things like that me Getting older, getting some chrome in my beard, I would be out there, yeah, get off my yard. But um, the residents there seem just to accept it. They know what it is. It goes through some wonderful little towns. Um, Legs ends up that way, which is a great spot to, to stop and get lunch and dinner. Um, and then you can just cruise right on up to, uh, to the bridge. You can hit a few of these rides all in one. So um, definitely something to look at. I tend to stay away from it just because it's a northern Michigan tourist trap. But... Um, you know, there is other times you can ride it. Year-round, it's, it's a beautiful ride. So now this one was brought up only once, and I was absolutely shocked by it. Um, this is US-41. So 41 runs from Escanaba all the way up to Copper Harbor, which is up in the UP, the furthest north you can get in the state. Um, it's a sweet-ass ride. It runs right, a, right through the state, you know, the Upper Peninsula, um, into Copper Harbor in the, in the Keweenaw Peninsula, which is amazing. So... If you haven't seen that, it doesn't matter even now in this snowpocalypse that we're having. It's a, it's a freaking beautiful, beautiful area to see um, year-round. It's, it's one of my favorite spots in the world. Um, I say that quite a bit because I have a lot of them, but uh, you, you cannot beat that, especially up there in, in the Copper Harbor area. There's something magical about it that um, just takes all your stress away. So I definitely recommend hitting that one up. The last one that we got that was on the list that was repeated a few times was H58. So H58 is up in the UP as well. Um, it runs east-west for about 69, 70 miles or so um, between Deer Park and Munising. So along that route, there is a ton of spots to stop as well. Uh, waterfalls are galore. There's all sorts of cool streams. And um, it, it takes you right into Munising, which is at the core of this, one of the, the coolest spots in the state. Um, to, to get off and, and go take a look around. So um, definitely recommend checking that one out and uh, hitting it up. That's, that's something I would recommend. You know, it's only a few, like a, a, an hour and a half ride, you know, but it's something that I would recommend staying in Munising overnight and, and trying to uh, check out some of the sites that that place has to offer. So it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful area. You can't go wrong with anywhere in the UP, to be honest with you. I mean, there's, not, there's no such thing as a bad ride. As long as the road's paved, up there it's it's beautiful um you do get on some of those logging roads which you know you got to be careful on but i've explored a few of them but um lots lots of cool spots to see up there like i said you just cannot go wrong in the upper peninsula of michigan so with all that being said um i mean anywhere you live i mean michigan in my opinion i've been all over the i've been all over the world and michigan is just it's a beautiful beautiful state we are very fortunate to have this and um you know, you can, there's lots of great rides out there. So if you have some out there that we missed or 
just don't know about, I mean, hit up, hit us up below and, uh, and mention them up. I'd love to do another video on them. Um, this summer, I am going to try to make a list of these. Again, it hit all these rides up and video, um, video the adventure. So there'll be a part two to this video coming up here, hopefully, hopefully before September. But um, I'm going to try to hit up those uh, those first few rides and try to do it in a in like a three four day weekend and and go and video the uh, the sites and some of the cool things that you can do. Uh, Taquanum and Falls up there. In, near Municine and all that stuff, hit up the waterfalls, things like that. So, again, if you got something that we missed or want to give an honorable mention, hit us up below. I wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit of the snow that we got. Um, we're about six inches more than we were in the last video. Ooh, that was cool. But uh, yeah, it's it's cold. It's about four degrees out right now. I went and shoveled the driveway earlier, and my ball is stuck to the side of my leg. So I got that going for me. All right, we'll take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.